Hey everyone, unfortunately there are a couple of audio issues in this episode. We tried to fix them in post, but it just didn't work. They are only occasional and hopefully aren't too distracting. This recording session has some of the best material we've ever come up with, so we didn't really want to chuck it out. Enjoy! Welcome to That's Ryan a Movie. Let's Write a Movie, the podcast. Hi. I'm Paul. My name's Rohan. Rohanan. Rohan. Rohan. And um, this, this is Let's Write a Movie, movie the podcast slash video, slash video that, that um, a video podcast, podcast you could say, say. Yeah. Um, that uh, explores random, random ideas. ideas. We, we take those random ideas, ideas with, for a setup, a conflict, and a resolution, and we smash them together to make a movie. And if you watched the last episode or listened to the last episode, Oh god, <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Um, watch the video to find out why I feel why I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yes, we make a movie out of those ideas, don't we, Rowan? We do. Creep. <laughs> Some success. <laughs> don't deny my hand. I will forever deny your hand. <laughs> your loss. Anyway, Rowan, uh, would you like to uh, delve into the mystery box? Well, yeah, let's see what we've got for set up. Gonna be what? fun. To listen to I that. spy with my little eye the setup. The cast of just not the cast. <laughs> the, the well, it is the cast. The cast have just graduated high school. Yay! And are looking forward to a party that night. Oh yeah! So Dears and confused, or one of them, or any team comedy yeah. ever made. Party time. We're young and funky. Party time. Let's get spunky. <laughs> We're yeah. continuing to be a creep. <laughs> Conflict. One of the cast goes broke. I'm going to start writing some of these. <laughs> that seems fair Resolution. enough. Bad guy just finishes the job. Bad, <laughs> Bad guy just finishes the job. He just finishes the job. <laughs> Whatever that job may be. Or is it just? He just finishes the job. I don't know. What kind of job on the bog? Um, are we a jobby? <laughs> <laughs> just, just snaps it off at the end. Oh, <laughs> and then the movie ends. <laughs> Genre. All right, I, I know what's happening now. All right, cool. Adventure. Adventure. So, okay, who have we got? We've got Bruce and Jake. Bruce and Jake. There's Can I be 17, Jake? Seventeen. You're Jake. I'm Bruce. 17 year olds but this is high school you can call high school the UK high school now mm. so we can do English accents because that sounds good to me American really you can't really like a can bell end. yeah so just graduated I got the GCSEs yeah got at 17 they're late maybe got the A levels six the A levels <laughs> just got the A levels yeah <laughs> and I'm Bruce. You're Bruce. You're Jake. I'm Jake. It's not for English name, is it, Bruce? It's quite Australian. There's only Bruce, English people you know of. Bruce. Forsyth. Uh, Forsyth, yeah. I stand corrected. Right. <laughs> that young so. that young and Bruce <laughs> Forsyth. <laughs> um, right. So this it opens with them like I don't know if you've got your results like this, but when I was at school we'd get a, go down to the school and get an envelope of our results in. That's exactly what and happens. And I think that's what happens with A levels, or it did happen. Mm. I can't remember off the top of my head. So let's just say their their A level education mm. was completed at high school. It was one of those high schools where you could stay on for two years to not only do your GCSEs but also your A levels. Made sixth it really form. sixth form. It made it really um, kind of convenient for everyone involved. <laughs> it did, didn't it? <laughs> uh, so the walking down to school, Bruce and Jake, they're talking about last night's game, football, you know, the young bucks. Leeds, like Leeds versus West Ham. Leeds versus West Ham. It was a great game. Because mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jake is a West Ham fan. And Bruce. And Bruce is a Leeds, Leeds. fan. Yeah. And uh, it was 4-0. Four 4-0. All. Four all. High scoring game. 4 all last night. Some of those goals were exemplary. Oh, yes. The one from the halfway line was amazing. That was fucking spot on, that one. Mm. I'll tell you what... Uh, 
Jenny Hooper, she's a great manager. She's a right cracker. We're in the future. It's 10 years in the future. The first female manager in the Premier League has happened. Finally. Uh, yeah. Leeds United got the first female manager. They're leading the way. They are. Um, Leeds leading. Yeah. And they won the Premiership last year with her. Yeah. And Bruce is actually her nephew. Really? Yeah, so he's really like in, in amongst it all, and mm, like whoa. Be. So it's like, well, isn't football funny? Yeah, it's a funny, <laughs> it's a funny, it's a old, funny game. old game. <laughs> now let's go and get our air level results just around the corner, and we'll be there. And our futures could be decided. But before that, yeah, we're going to go on a big piss up tonight, aren't we? Yeah, I can't. Yeah? I can't wait for Smithy's party. Yeah, we're going to get um, loads of six packs. Oh yeah, Stella Foster's. I would also like to bring fruit. Just to complement it. Oh, yeah. So I was thinking bananas, strawberries and blueberries. Oh, and don't forget blackberries. And blackberries. Delicious. You want some? Oh, absolutely. You could have some. <laughs> we go away for the party. <laughs> so they go to the carry on down to the school. <laughs> Sorry. You go down to the school. Yeah. So Bruce opens his letter first. He reads it. So he studied biology, physiology, and um, chemistry. Spatiality. Spatiality. It's all about studying space mm. in between objects. Jake just took PE, maths, and art. And what did Jake? I've got my results here. I've got A, two Bs. Oh. Oh, my mum's just going to be so proud. Oh, no. I got a D for PE, an E for maths, and an A for art. Maybe I should pursue art school. I always thought you had a good hand when it comes to the... Touching the brush. paint to canvas. Paint to canvas. Mm. You know what? And your granddad would say that. If he could still see you now. <laughs> but so now I'm related to you. <laughs> no, your granddad. Oh, my God. I loved your, I loved your granddad. And if he could still see you now, mm. because he, he went blind. Yeah. He, he, I'll just read in the results later. I'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wish he could see you. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he does. Probably. So, <laughs> so tonight... Mm. So anyway, tonight... We're going to have this party, baby. Mm. And... I can't wait for Smithy's party. I've got £20. Okay. And I think if we've got that offy, they've got like six cans for three quid so we can get loads. Oh, nice. We've got all our mates over. They'll be bringing booze as well. Where are we having it? At your granddad's house? The back. Yeah, granddad, yeah. yeah. We'll be... just stick him in the cupboard. Yeah. No, headphones. hey, you're... that's horrible. <laughs> He'll be fine. He won't know. Really? He won't know he about won't the He won't wander out. Nah. Because he's dead feely. So, well, this was all Smithy's idea anyway. It's his party. But his granddad's become really feely. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he gets around. Yeah. So anyway, so... <laughs> so they're going to watch that. It's up to young girls. Yeah. So they basically, they get the results, they go home to tell the parents, mm. everyone's happy. Yeah. And they're like, my God. So you come home and I'll be your dad, Samson Knight. <clears throat> okay. Dad, dad. How did you go, son? Did you, get your, did you get your results? Yeah, some of them disappointing. What did you get? Tell me now. Well, I, got a, I got a D for P. But you're so physical. I know, I just didn't like the theory part. Oh. I don't care about nutrition. You know, you know me. I eat Mars bars oh, that's constantly. Yeah, but I like my blackberries. I've always liked my blackberries. True. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, Bruce has got some of them in for tonight. Oh, that part you're going to? <laughs> yeah, he's a good lad, isn't he? He's a See? good lad. I always said Stella goes well with blackberries. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. Um, you and, and I got a. Unfortunately, I got an E for maths. Well, that's disappointing too. I couldn't. Oh, and then I, could, I just couldn't add up. Um, the, gra- about, the grades just didn't add up. Um, how about the one that helps you express yourself? Well, um, art. I got an A. Wow, man. Mm. That's fantastic. I can't wait for dad, for granddad to fill my results later so he finds out. Yeah. Mm. That's wonderful. I'm so happy with, about you. Oh, thank you. And I've always, you know, I've always thought of you as someone that, you're not only my son, but someone that if I was to work with you, I'd say, you know what? Outside of work, I probably could be his friend. Mm, that's how I've always felt about you, Dad. Have you? Yeah. And I think we should um, build on that going forward. So, 
little surprise because you've done so well, son. Would you like to go quad paintballing at the weekend? You drive quad bikes whilst firing paintballs. You know I've always wanted to do yeah, that. Yeah. Can we play disc golf after? Disc golf? Yeah. And I was wondering if you want to start um, quarry, quarrying. I would love to start quarrying you know, with you, my, Dad. My mate Vince, he's got that quarry. Yeah. If he said, feel free to come and do some quarrying if you want to. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. I love limestone. Limestone? They've got limestone? I want to paint on the limestone. You want to... Oh! Combining two loves? Yes. Oh, see? <laughs> this is why we're more than five and son. We're... Mates! <laughs> Right. That was not even slightly rehearsed. Everyone, we both said mates at the same time. Sorry. Right. So then, he's like, all right, see you, Dad. Can't wait for the weekend. No, it's you, innit? Sorry. Um, all right, see you, Dad. Can't wait for the weekend. I love quad bowling. Woo! Woo! So then, <sighs> now, he meets back up with me, Bruce. Mm. All right, Jake, what did your dad say? Um... Samsonite's well happy. Not good. Because uh, I also. Uh, We're going quad balling on the weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I was wanting to do I that. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, I've got this money. Mm. But there's a guy. I was going to go to the news agent, but there's a fella. He says he can get me 100 cans of um, Cronenberg. Right. Oh, 1664. Uh, 1664. Um, for £19.50. That's a good deal. He dude. apparently came off the back of a truck. So they might be a bit fizzy, but we just had to settle. Yeah. Just hold, open them slowly. Anyway, he's called Reginald Pasquale. Okay. He's the son <laughs> of uh, Joe Pasquale. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he moved up north. Yeah. From London, because his dad was abusive. Shit, libel. <laughs> I don't think I can say that. It's he again. is libelous. <laughs> <laughs> Not libelous. He doesn't care. Anyway, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down to um, Shackney Lane. Okay. Because he lives just in one of those shacks. Mm, Shackney Lane. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is, he also said, "Do we want to borrow his um, hoverboard?" He's got uh, a hoverboard. Ah, oh, cool. This is ten years in the future, guys. Mm. Women managers and hoverboards. So that's what I'm hoping for the most. What we'll do, we'll go down there. See if we can borrow the hoverboard. Nice. And that'll be like fifty p. So all in all, twenty pounds. That's what I've got. That's pretty good. Yeah. But won't that make you broke? Well, it would be worth it. Oh, that's true. So they go down. <laughs> yeah. And knock, knock on the door. Yeah. And. Uh, wait. <laughs> um, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, hello, Reginald. Yeah. Oh, can we get under cans of Cronenberg, please? Yeah, can we? You were the cans, did you? Yeah. Do, wait, do you got, got them legally, legally, yeah? Yeah, legally, fizzy. Oh, I love a legally. Oh, legally. <laughs> <laughs> and you're holding a hoverboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, woo. Uh, put it on there. You could actually put the cans on the hoverboard. Yeah, we could push and them then, on. You sit on the back. 20 pounds. Away you go. Woo. Woo. See ya. I found that. <laughs> Said before. Be careful. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> so then they go to the party. Mm. And they're dancing. It's kicking off. Yeah. The gun dads walk around. Look at like directing him back to his. He's got an armchair in the corner. Like, he's just kind yeah. of listening at the music, but occasionally he gets up. Mm. He's like, and then some of the like guests are like, "Whoa, whoa, hey, all right, Mister Shabnex, <laughs> Shabnex," <laughs> and they keep. But in the end, they just yeah. say, "Hey, you have a can of Cronenberg," and we give him a couple mm. of these like fans, but give it half an hour. He's like, so he's like, he's not a bother anymore. He's just pissed. Mm. he's just pissed, and um, but then. It's all going well, Bruce, Jake, yeah. the reminiscing about school days. Hey, so we finished school now. Yeah, I can't believe it. No more sitting at those desks. And yeah, now we can just party, now we can party every, every day. day. Oh, you know what? Whoa. I'm so excited about my future. 
Me too. But instead of talking about that, that's, that's just party, granddad style. Touching everyone. Yeah, I was <laughs> gonna say, and then the, and then the movie ends. After he but, <laughs> but then this really nasty man turns up. Mm. Oh no, here comes Clarence. Oh, that dickhead. I hate Clarence. Oh, he's such a prick. Oh uh, yeah, right, Clarence, do you want to do you want to tinny? Yeah, go on. Mm. You had a good day. Good results? No. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Expected. Yeah. And he uh, and as he walks past us, he trips you up. Oh, oh Clarence, man. Oh, oh yeah. Behave. And then Clarence is like, where's your toilet? And I'm like, it's just down the corridor. And the camera follows him into the toilet and he's a bit bonged up. Yeah. And he's like, oh. And there's like all this, it's it's cutting back between him straining on his face mm. and the joy in our faces. Ah, fun. Yeah. Straining. Fun. I love him. <laughs> straining. Joy. Happiness. Straining. Ex- ecstasy. Straining. <laughs> Nice, we're dancing, mm. shuffling, straining, plop. Oh, I forgot this is what it's like. Yeah. Oh, that feels better. I finished that job. And then he gets out, comes out the toilet, the camera's following him, and he comes between me and you. Mm. We trip him up, and he's like, Oi! And as he's falling, and I it, say, Enjoy the trip. And then he falls, and it's like a freeze for him. Ah. And him going down, and was going, ah, lash. <laughs> and our fingers touch, and electricity goes, <laughs> and we go, just like this together. And then it, the electricity forms in a ball, and we kind of go, like, we pull it. <laughs> and we say this together. With this power, we will go forward. We will go forward. And achieve. What we were made to achieve. And then the movie ends? And the movie ends. Wow, ah, okay. So it's a big resolution. That, that was sort of like a Lord of the Rings style movie. It had like it was. ten endings. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, it's a bit of an adventure to the school and then back home. Mm. And to the weird guy's house. Dreyfus Carly's son's house. Dreyfus Carly. Anyway, um, I tried to get in... I thought of a movie name. Yeah. And I tried to get it in there. You know how, like, sometimes characters will say the name of the movie? Oh, yeah. Um, Party Grandad style. Ah. What do you reckon? I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Mm. It all revolves around graduation. Yeah. Getting your results. Partying. What else? Art. Quarry. Quad bank. Quad, quad, quad balling. Quad balling. <laughs> um, Mm, if, you, tough one. if you could see you now. If they could see you now. Yeah. That's the name of uh, Dr. Seuss, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. If they could see I us. I don't know. I can't, I'll oh, look no. up to you. What did you say? Party Grandad style. Yeah, on, it's got, it's got yeah. a good hook. <laughs> yeah. It's attention grabbing. Party, <laughs> Party Grandad style. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> so we've got Bruce and Jake. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal and Bruce Jenner. And Bruce. <laughs> Bruce Jenner no no wait no Bruce Jenner isn't a you don't, have to be, don't have to have the same name that's <laughs> not how it works that's not how you get acting jobs okay but can Bruce Forsyth come back from he could be the granddad he could be the granddad <laughs> CGI yeah. you can do that now yeah holograms isn't it? reanimate him okay so Jake Gyllenhaal um, no no <laughs> you don't want Jake Gyllenhaal what do you know I don't know it doesn't matter does it it's just some no. young book um Two young books. What's the guy called? Zac Efron. Zac Efron, Charlie Sheen. They're two young books. <laughs> They're two young books. <laughs> um, okay. They yeah. d- d- pull it off. Um, yeah, Bruce Forsyth for the dad. Or oh, granddad. Sam, Sam uh, for the dad, dad. football uh, oh, cameo. Cameo. Um, Chris Kamara. Chris Kamara? Yeah. Yeah. Chris Kamara as the dad. And then Reginald Pasquale. Um, hmm. Mm. Joe Pasquale? Playing his, Playing his son. Yeah, all right, it works. Yeah? yeah. Okay, nice. Well, that's it, isn't it? That's it. And the movie is called Party Grandad Style. Party Grandad Style. Oh, that was a fun one again. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Cheers. See ya. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Let's Write a Movie is a Paul and Rowan production. 
Find us on our socials at LWAMPod on Instagram, Freds and Facebook and Podcast on TikTok. That's L-W-A-M. We are posting unique content on each social so they are all worth checking out. Until next time, see you later.